And you're thinking, surely he's not going to do the cosine. I mean, we just did, the, no. you're obviously new to the course, because now we're going to do q of t equals a cosine omega t plus phi, therefore d q d t equals a. Derivative of cosine is negative sine pull out an omega minus a omega sine omega t plus phi. And the second derivative is d q d t sine cosine. Another omega comes out minus a omega squared cosine omega t plus phi. <sighs> now plug it in. Let's see. d2 q d t2 is minus a omega squared um, cosine omega t plus phi. So that's the d2 q d t2 equals minus 1 over lc. And then the function a cosine omega t plus phi. So you say, is this a good answer? And the equation says, well, yes, if this is true. So we cancel that, we cancel that, we cancel the a, we cancel the a, we cancel the negatives. And the equation says, sure, if omega squared equals 1 over LC. So that solution is good if the frequency of the function is the square root of 1 over LC, and the a and the phi can take any value. So both sine and cosine, perfectly acceptable guesses for this differential equation.